G'day, I'm Chris Lynch, an ambassador for the SPCA, and I'm delighted to introduce to you senior vet nurse here, Emma, with us. Hello, Emma, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Tell me about your job. What an incredible job you have. Yes, yes, I'm really, really lucky. We all are um, getting to work at the SPCA. Uh, so I'm the senior nurse for the vet clinic. Uh, so we have four vets, four nurses, a practice manager, and some amazing support staff that help us run the vet clinic really smoothly. I, I often wonder if people realise just how amazing the SPCA is in terms of the behind the scenes, in terms of the operations you perform to care for these animals. It's a lot more than just adopting out an animal, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'd probably say 90% of the animals that come into the clinic do need some form of treatment, whether that's medical or surgery, um, even something as simple as spaying them before they go off to their forever home. So that's all something that we do here in the vet clinic. It must be nice too to work with such a friendly and caring team who dedicate their lives to literally helping animals that have been less fortunate than many animals that we know about. Um, our team are absolutely amazing. Um, we're all here for the same purpose, which is obviously for the animals, um, but we're the most fantastic team, everyone from the, um, the volunteers and the support staff, the vet team, animal care, um, you know, people who work in the offices that we don't get to see as much, um, all incredible people. Yeah, What's really the best nice. bit about your job? If I had to say the absolute favourite, and I think most of the team here would agree with me, is when we get really sick animals in that need a lot of treatment, um, a lot of love and TLC, and then finally we get to see them get better and then go off to their forever home. So that's really awesome. I'm guessing you must have many memories and many stories, positive stories, where you can see an animal that may have been injured or needs care and then does go off to a forever home. We see so many, and all different species too, like we're not just talking cats and dogs, talking horses. Um, we have some axolotls at the moment, um, goldfish, um, yes, yeah, so many different species and it's amazing to get them to get to see them go off to their forever homes. Is there something you want to be able to tell the public today that they may not know about when it comes to the work that the vets do at the SBCA? There's a lot of work that goes into um, anyone who works in the vet team. Our vets are fantastic. Um, they had to train for at least five years um, to be able to diagnose and treat such a wide variety of animals. Um, our vets here truly dedicate their entire lives to this role. It's not just a nine to five job where you work and then you go home and you forget about it. Um, it's a huge part of your life and it becomes your whole life basically, yeah. What's the biggest challenge? There are a lot of challenges. Um, I would say at the moment it's seeing the kitten seasons get longer. Um, every year we seem to get more and more kittens coming through our doors. Um, so people, you know, whether they're not desexing their cats and things like that, um, I guess the changes in the weather and things are causing um, more litters to be born. But um, yeah, it's an ever increasing workload. <laughs> well, thank you to you and the team, the wonderful work you do. And it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thank you.